So unfortunately my Vizio 2015, uh, P-Series 2015 has died. I've tried uh, everything. I've tried resetting it with the power button in the back here. So at this point, I think what I read online is, is a lot of times these televisions, the power supply dies. I'm gonna try to diagnose and make sure that it's actually the power board and it's not something more serious. And then if it is the power board, I'm gonna ship it off, try to get it fixed. But there's screws here, 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 all over here and, and uh, throughout the perimeter. They all need to be removed along if you have the stand, if you have to remove the stand. I'm not gonna bore you with me screwing or unscrewing screws. You know, make sure it's unplugged when you do it. And it's very simple. You just lift it right up and it comes right off easily. You just gotta disconnect that connector and then you're good to go. Since the TV was, was just, uh, all of a sudden we were watching television and it just went black, went dark. And I couldn't, I tried all the normal fixes like resetting it by holding the power button on the back of the chassis itself. That didn't work. I tried another uh, power receptacle. So I narrowed it down to, there's probably an issue with the power supply, which is this board here. And to kind of diagnose it, you have to disconnect. Well, for one, I, uh, I ran the power. I tested the, uh, the voltage on this five volt standby pin, which is this one on the far, I guess far left, far right for depending on your perspective and it's supposed to be a steady five volts I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on the camera but it's like all over the place it's not a steady five when I test it it jumps from f it's supposed to be a steady five volts now, I'm gonna disconnect all these other cables to see if there's anything else influencing that and just keep the power, external power connector. I'm gonna disconnect all these cables and see if it still reads the same and see if the, none, of these, none of the other boards are, have anything to do with it, you know, reading like that. So I think I've pretty much run, uh, narrowed it down to this being a bad power supply, but let me just test it one more time with everything disconnected. Oh, gonna need some power. TV's plugged in. Negative on the chassis. You can see it's jumping, I don't know, one and a half to five sometimes, but it's not a steady five, which it's supposed to be. So yeah, I'm gonna assume that this is, I mean, I could be wrong, I'm not an expert that this a bad, bad, bad power supply board. So they, I've been trying to find this thing and I can't find it anywhere. So I, th I found a place on eBay that actually repairs them and I, there's like a couple of reviews. So I'm going to take a chance and send it to these people on eBay to see if they can actually get it repaired. And then I will follow up. Okay. So I, I just got the part back from the repair shop. And so I'm going to hopefully put it all back and hope it works. There's a hell of a story that goes along with this. It looks like this corner was uh, broken off and they still managed to fix it. So let's hope that it still works. Okay, so I'm gonna screw the board back in now and hope it works. It's pretty easy to do. I don't, it's not, it doesn't take too much to Okay, so now I'm gonna plug all these guys in. With these connectors, I don't think they're only gonna go in one spot. You just click them in until you hear the little click. Just would be unfortunate if that does not go in. There, this one. I believe this is the one that comes from the main board. I 
don't want to be too rough with these connectors. This board's been through enough already. This is the power one that comes from the wall. That one's connected there. Now I'm going to put the case, the cover back on. Just double check these again, make sure they're all good. All the screws are in, good to go. So before I uh, put everything back, I'm gonna just attach, I'm gonna just attach a few of the screws and I'm gonna put the stand back on the television so that I can just test and make sure that everything's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put two or three screws on the back here, just enough to hold it in place. I just plugged in the TV, I'm gonna, well the LED light went on, that's a good sign. Let's see if it'll power on briefly. I'm gonna just kind of put it up. Yeah. What do you know, it's working. Oh my God. All right, well, um, really happy, TV works. So I'm gonna just put all the screws back. Thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment and I'll see you in the next one.